this place is called uh, Santa Maria del Tule and it houses one of the oldest trees in the world, 2,000 years old. Uh, the name is Agua Viejo, which means old water, since uh, this used to be a lake, uh, but the water has uh, disappeared and this tree grew in the lake. And, uh, it has one of the biggest circumferences in the world, uh, 58 meters, pretty cool. And it's a really nice place, this place. Uh, apparently got its name because it had a temple for the uh, Virgin Mary. It's really nice. Hello. stop on a uh, day of tours uh, around uh, Oaxaca city. Next stop is the textile factory. See you there. This place is called Teotitlan. Locally made cotton tea from totally natural uh, colors. And you use uh, berries, herbs, moss from trees to make different colors. And yeah, we're going to, they're going to show us how they make the carpets, uh, how they make the colors. I'm looking forward to it. This sequence I'm uh, speeding because it takes a while. But uh, we get to know how they make the process of making the uh, threads for the carpets, the, how they weave the, the threads, and uh, how they make the different colors for the different threads. Uh, they use, uh, they grow insects on uh, leaves to make the green. They use berries uh, that they make the red part of the color and they use uh, lemon to make a little bit brighter red color as you can see and um, uh, yeah they also use uh, plants uh, to make uh, eventually yellow and uh, this uh, final part the blue color they use kind of a charcoal like substance that it passes around here It's really very interesting. This is the weaving machine they use to make uh, the carpets. Uh, it actually reminds me of uh, one of the weaving machines I had when I was a kid. Uh, actually, that uh, my family had. Uh, our mother used to do, uh, used to make scarves and carpets. brings me back. Welcome to a local mezcal factory. It's a, a local liquor that they make here in Oaxaca, <coughs> uh, which they make from plants over here. Different kinds of agave plants, and it's actually uh, the fruit they use, which looks like a big pine cone over here.
to do is to boil the pine coal for five days. It's like in a big pile of uh, dirt uh, to uh, uh, to soften it, soften the fruit. This is how it looks afterwards. What to do then is they they grind the fruit to get uh, the juices. And to that they use actually a horse and a wheel. Distillery, where uh, after they uh, grinded it and uh, they've uh, let it ferment, uh, it's only about four or five percent. And to get the forty percent mezcal, they distill it. different kinds of uh, uh, mezcal and liquors that uh, you can buy here. I've uh, tried a couple of them. They're actually really good, especially the liquors. Uh, no, I'm not drunk. Uh, just small sips. I tried it. Uh, yeah, I would recommend it. If you're ever in uh, Mexico City, or Mexi Mexico at all, just try mezcal, it's really good. Uh, yeah, on to the next place, see you there. This is the village of uh, Mitla, and we're uh, at an old preserved ruin. And uh, yeah, we're gonna look around, see some cacti, and maybe uh, learn a bit how they lived in the old days. This is called Hierve uh, Lagua, which means uh, boiling water, I think. And it's supposed to have uh, a pool up here in the mountains that you can swim in, and a frozen waterfall. Uh, I'm guessing it's not frozen, so it's really warm, but it's calcified or something. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Check on the view here. it so happens the camera died a hundred meters from uh, Hirve el Agua so sadly no movies from that place and it was a really beautiful place if you are in Oaxaca you have to take the trip go to Hirve el Agua uh, but thanks to some uh, friends at the hostel uh, I'll leave you with uh, these fine pictures bye